So with all the iPhones in the market, it can be a bit confusing on which one to buy. Now the SE3 is a solid option if you're on a budget. You're also gonna notice I've got this really cool Star Wars Stormtrooper case on it. Absolutely love this case, guys. Now, why would you buy an iPhone SE to begin with? Well, two reasons. It's a lot more affordable at around $400 and it still reps the home button. So if you're already using an older iPhone like the SE 2, 8, or 7, then you're gonna feel right at home with the SE 3. Now, as far as differences between the SE 3 and SE 2, honestly, there aren't many. Now, I've got my red SE 2 here to really prove this. As you can see, they're literally impossible to differentiate as they look identical. Same screen sizes, camera specs, and so forth. Even when I stack them on top of each other, I mean, come on now, they're the same size, right? Now, the thing that really separates the SC2 from the SC3 is that the battery life is slightly better on the SC3, and the processor has also got the same processor as the iPhone 13, which is going to make it a faster phone. However, I would say out of those two differences, the better battery life is the bigger deal. Now, lots of people have complained about the poor battery life on the SC2, so it is a factor. Now, as far as phone photography, which is the next thing I want to touch on, really nothing different in my opinion after taking pictures and recording videos on both phones. Now, I'm going to pull up a quick picture here. It's my Jason Voorhees coffee mug. I use this thing all the time. I know it's kind of weird, but I like scary movies. Uh, but yeah, so you're really going to get the same camera um, you know, for taking pictures and recording video. Okay, the next thing I want to do is run some video on both phones simultaneously to show you once again not much of a difference, but also what you can expect if you're going to get the iPhone SE 3 since the screen is going to be smaller. Now, I've got the iPhone SE 3 up top and the SE 2 right below it, so let's check it out. Okay, next I'm going to run some gaming on the SE3 playing Call of Duty Mobile and then some Into the Dead 2. Now, I'm going to be using the Backbone 1 controller, which is my favorite gaming controller for any iPhone I'm currently using. Then after we do some of this gameplay, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on if the SE3 is worth buying. Enemy down! Enemy 
contact. Enemy down. Keep back up. Changing mag. Target inside. Enemy down. Tango oh. down. Tango down. Reloading. Reloading. Enemy contact. Target down. <laughs> Okay, so bottom line, is the iPhone SE 3 worth buying? Absolutely. Now, if you're looking at getting a new iPhone, but you don't want to spend six, seven, eight hundred plus dollars, this is the perfect option. Now, if you're already using an iPhone SE 2, I even think it's worth upgrading because you will get that better battery life, which is really important. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions about this phone. Thanks for watching it. We'll see you all in the next video.